Even if you barely follow the news, you may have heard that Alabama Governor Robert Bentley has been in some trouble lately over an alleged relationship with his former senior advisor Rebecca Caldwell Mason, a married mother of three. If you haven't had time to keep up, let's quickly get you up to speed on what's been going on. On March 23, 2016, Governor Bentley got hit with the one-two punch of his former law enforcement agency head Spencer Collier announcing the governor had a relationship with Mason and audio tapes being released of an alleged phone conversation with Mason that were sexually suggestive. You know what? When, when I stand behind you and I, and, I, and I put my arms around you and I put my hands on your breast. Yeah. So, the governor came out and admitted to making comments to Mason back in 2014 that were inappropriate but denied a physical relationship. I want everyone to know, though, that I have never had a physical affair with Mrs. Mason. Is it a romantic relationship? Is that romantic relationship still ongoing? What do you mean a romantic relationship? Do you love Mrs. Mason? I, I love many members of my staff. In fact, all the members of my staff. Do I love more than I do others than I do? You know, some uh, more than others, absolutely. It may not surprise you that not everyone believed him. A few days later, Mason resigned her position, but the governor has refused to resign. State lawmakers have started the impeachment process, but those efforts have been slowed by the fact that no one has actually impeached a governor in Alabama before, so they're having to spend some effort sorting out the rules. Others have called for a recall vote, but Alabama has no law that allows for the recall of governor. But if you're saying to yourself, love ain't a crime, baby, so what's everyone so mad about? Well, among the allegations made by the former Alabama law enforcement secretary was a claim that the governor used public and campaign resources to cover up the alleged affair. And that includes money spent to keep Mason and the governor's then-wife separated. Reports have popped up showing the governor spent over $1,500 in campaign funds on prepaid cell phones or burner phones if you're cool and watch The Wire. There are also concerns about how Mason was paid, as she hadn't been on the state payroll since 2013 and was actually receiving money from the Bentley campaign and AceGov, a 501c4 nonprofit that isn't required to disclose where its money is coming from or where it's going. Now, the governor has denied all accusations of illegal activity, but an investigation has been opened by the State Ethics Commission, and there are reports that federal investigators have also been sniffing around. On top of claims of misused funds, there are other allegations that Mason may have improperly used her influence over the governor, with one lawmaker saying she convinced the governor to veto two of his bills because because back when he was a professor, he gave Mason a bad grade. Now this should have you more or less up to date, but the story continues to unfold and could get even bigger as the governor is expected to testify in the upcoming ethics trial of Alabama Speaker of the House Mike Hubbard. As new developments come up, we'll keep you updated on AL.com.